One of my favorite fish to catch in the middle of summer is the smallmouth bass. What a lot of people don't realize is that smallmouth bass are a very versatile fish. They can be feeding at 20 to 40 feet in depth and then in a matter of 10-15 minutes be cruising shorelines that are only 5 to 10 feet deep. While most people target smallmouth using live bait or soft plastic or sometimes even trolling for them, I love to use a presentation that's a little bit different. It's a twitching or slashing presentation. And I find that the X-Wrap, especially in the live series, works extremely well when you're dealing with clear water conditions. Now, a lot of times, a smallmouth bass won't just come up and rip at the lure and grab it. They'll just follow it because they're not sure what's happening. In those situations, it's very important that you wear polarized glasses and that you watch your lure in the last 20 feet when it comes close to the boat because oftentimes you'll see the smallmouth follow and that's the time to make very aggressive short twitches where that lure is going left, right, left, right almost in one spot. The one nice thing about the X-Wrap is that it has a little bit of tinsel and feathering. It's called hackle on the treble hook at the back of the fish. And when you see that going through the water, it actually kicks from side to side. I believe a lot of times that kicking action with a little bit of feather actually gets a small mouth to strike. Now it's very important that you try to keep as direct line contact with the lure as possible. Because if a fish hits, right after you make a twitch or a slash, you have to be ready to set the hook. I find that if I'm constantly reeling when I'm twitching or slashing, it really improves my chances of hooking up a fish. Also, if I hold my rod tip close to the water instead of up in the air, that way when a fish hits, I've got lots of room to lift that rod up or move it to the side and get a really good hook set. Twitching and slashing works especially well if you have clear water. I've had bass come up from as deep as 30 feet off of structure to hit a twitch bait and I've also caught them in two feet of water when they've just made a long cast to shore planning on retrieving it back to the boat. The one thing that I have to stress is to be ready for a fish at any time. And I tell people, you know what, they'll probably hit when you least expect it. So expect it and you'll land a nice bass. <laughs>